Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to do a Q&A for you, not anything necessarily plan related, just literally a random Q&A video. I think I've done one of these before and I think it was in 2019. It was a hell of a long time ago. Literally nobody probably remembers this, but a few weeks ago I asked you guys if you'd like to give me some Q&A questions. So I've written them down in front of me and we're just going to quick fire through them. And they're not in any particular order, so without further ado let's go favorite color my favorite color is probably it's probably blue but i really like teal and green as well but i think really anything on the cold spectrum that's kind of in that arena i like a lot of greens and stuff like that but i think if i had to tell you my absolutely favorite color ever it would be kind of like a sky blue or a cobalt blue how is the house coming along? Okay, the house is nearly habitable, literally. I think I've got some doors to go on inside the house and a little bit of paint to touch up, but I think it's almost at the point where I can move in. Now, there's no furniture in the house or anything like that. I've had a few problems with sofas and things like that. Literally, don't even talk to me about it, but I will be able to move in to an empty house quite shortly, which I'm quite excited about because I've had this house since the 30th of September and I'm still not in it yet. And we're now in mid-November. So I'm kind of sad, but it's coming. Which plants will you have in the new house? You know what it is? I still don't know. Because I think what I need to do is I need to live in it a little bit. I need to figure out what furniture is going in there and then really just sort of see what works in the space and what I would like to do. I don't really want to put any holes in the walls or anything like that. So I'm just going to keep things as they are. I don't really want plants on poles. I don't know why I'm just I'm kind of sick of it and I don't really want that for me anymore unless it was maybe one in the corner like a big monster of delicioso or something like I don't know I'm I'm not sure as of yet but I'm thinking about it if that makes sense but I really think I just need to see what's sort of good for the space what fertilizers do you think are best for aroids well call me biased but I'm making a fertilizer as we speak for aroids so obviously i think mine is probably the best because there aren't really many out there that are formulated specifically for aroids i'm very very excited about that when is your fertilizer coming out it was going to be late this year but a little bit of production has sort of pushed it over so i'm expecting to release the fertilizer early next year definitely in time for spring maybe a little bit before that we will see how it goes but i'm very very excited guys i genuinely think you're gonna love this do you plan on getting any pets when you move into your new home no 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 <laughs> at the moment i have an aquarium with fish in it and i don't plan on getting anything else i think that needs to be it for me at the moment because i'm so so busy i literally don't have time for anything else and at least with fish if anything goes wrong and you go away you can auto feed them so that's kind of a plus point but as for like dogs cats birds anything no no plans have you ever tried yoga no but everyone tells me to for my back and for flexibility and everything else i haven't tried yoga but what i did do last week was i went to a stretching class at my gym and it was quite polarizing really some stretches i just did easily and some were absolutely impossible and i don't know if they were impossible just due to muscle soreness or because i'm really not flexible so i learned a lot would i do yoga i'm not sure i think i need more convincing to be honest what is your religion? I am a proud atheist. How do you deal with pests? So for me, you might know it's more about prevention with me rather than cure. So in the shop, I have what I like to call bug bombs that I let off maybe every... Sometimes if I've got more fungus gnats or something, I might do it every week. Sometimes I might do it every three. Sometimes I might do it every six. It really depends on what's going on in the shop. And a single import can change that, whether it's weather conditions or it's just, you know, an import came in with a lot of gnats on it, for example. A single event can change all of that. So I kind of tailor my I care around that. I do have antifungal spray, antibacterial spray. I have a foliar feed as well. I have a few different things that I do for the plants, but if it's to do with killing most things, it happens via an aerosol, so via a bug bomb. And I think that's brilliant because I have so many plants at the shop, I could not hope to go around and spraying everything. I can spray things when it's antifungal, antibacterial, because something's having a flare up or I just want to prevent things anyway. That's easy enough, but I couldn't repeatedly do that kind of thing. So that's what I do at the shop. Would I do it at home? No. 
because I think the bomb would kill the fish, it would kill a lot of things, but because of the environment in the shop, I can sort of get away with it. A lot of people ask me to tell them what the bombs and everything are, but I'm not gonna do that because it's not safe for your home. And I'm absolutely not gonna be responsible for you hurting any pets you have at home, so that's why I won't tell anybody what I use. How do you find fitting the gym into your schedule? Oh my god, it's really hard. Really, 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 really hard. I do three sessions a week with my personal trainer and I do a little bit of cardio after each session, or at least I should be every single week, so I will do 30 minutes after that. My personal training session is 45 minutes. Basically, every Sunday my PT messages me and says, what's your availability for next week? And I tell her the dates and times, and then she comes back with some dates and times. So it is flexible, but it still just makes it that bit busier, but it's worth it because I need it for my health and my back and my back problems and stuff like that. It's okay. It's just, it's what you'd expect. Oh, the plant you've had the longest. I think at this point it has to be Gus. Now, nearly everybody on my channel knows about Gus and loves Gus. Gus is fine, by the way. I think you've seen him recently in a houseplant tour. Gus is my Maranta. The, I don't know what you call it, just the plain Maranta that has red stripes in it. He was my first plant that I bought, pretty much anyway, when I moved to Manchester in 2018, I think and he's been with me ever since. He's had a few haircuts, he's had a few bad moments, but he's been with me ever since, and I have absolutely no plan to get rid of him. He's great. If anyone's curious, he was named from Gus from Cinderella, you know, that really stupid little mouse, I think it is. He's named after him, just because he gets stressed and he has a flap, doesn't he, so. Oh, this one's so good. Okay, feel good YouTube channel. Now, I only found this about four days ago, and I'm so glad I did. It just popped up on my feed at the right time, and I've written his name down, but my feel good YouTube channel is Mark Rober. I'll put the name on the screen for you. The video that got suggested to me was like a squirrel maze, and I'm telling you something, guys. If you want something that's really awesome, wholesome content, you're either watching it because you're hungover, or you feel really down and you want to be put in a better mood i'm telling you now i've left the video in the description you need to watch it you need to watch it it is brilliant the guy does a few different videos on his channel but the squirrel videos are really good and there is also a gus in that as well there is a squirrel named fat gus so you need to go and check that out he basically makes squirrels that live in his yard compete with each other and it's just brilliant and they've all got personalities and it's just the best it's just the best Oh, back to the gym. How has the gym made you feel now that you're more active? It's made me feel so much better. And the reason I'm actually at the gym a lot is because I wasn't quite prescribed it per se, but the lady that I see for my scoliosis really, really recommended some strength training to help pull my spine back into position. Basically, I have to just be a bit careful what I do at the gym, obviously. I can't just put loads of weight on all the time. I need to do exercises that are mainly symmetrical and everything else. One side of my body is way weaker than the other side. This side is actually stronger, which is my left side. Usually people find their right side is stronger. Not for me. So yeah, I'm doing it to strengthen all that. And as a result, my scoliosis is actually a lot more manageable, a lot more manageable. So I've been feeling great. Also, if I'm carrying around buckets of water at the shop, I can carry them so easily now. Like, honestly, guys, I couldn't even carry a bucket of water that was full with great ease beforehand. I am, as you can probably tell, I'm not a, a big girl. I'm very, very, very petite. So it was very, very difficult for me because I've got like no muscle. I have a little bit more now. But yeah, the main reason I actually go is for scoliosis, but it's really given me a nice new outlook on being active and being strong and everything else. So I'm really enjoying it and I do feel a lot better. It can help me de-stress sometimes as well. So that's really good. Ah, favorite movie, right. I, I have three, but I'm gonna give you my top three. Do I do it in order? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it in order, although I don't know the other two. So my favorite movie of all time, and if you have not seen this movie, please, for me, for me, please go and watch it. Please go and watch it. It is my favorite movie of all time, and that is Princess Bride. The Princess Bride is literally unbelievable. It has it all. It has love, it has sword fights, it has charm, it has elegance. It is just everything you would ever want in a fairy tale story. Honestly, please go watch it. Please go watch it. The other two that I love the most would be never ending story oh my god cried at that every time as a kid you have no idea and the other one is not one that people really watch 
I don't even know that many people that have seen it. It's I guess it's an oddball. I didn't think it was. But Return to Oz. If anyone's seen Return to Oz, I literally, I adore Return to Oz. I think it's literally fantastic. And I wish someone would come back and do Wizard of Oz and do something more like that, that was a little bit darker and a bit different. So yeah, those are my top three. Other notable mentions are probably anything with Bill and Ted in it, you know, the old movies. So they're really good as well. Ooh, Pawn versus Lekker. Honestly, it kind of depends on the plan. Some things like Lekker, some things like Pawn. Some things just... It depends, and I, I could have to. I would have to give you it by a plan by plan basis. It's really difficult. So I like Lekka. I like it more for a household environment where you don't want soil and you don't want gnats. Love that. But generally, as far as pawn is concerned, I like that more for a household environment where you've got less humidity and you want to go soilless. I wouldn't rely on it for feeding because there's virtually nothing in it, but it is really, really good for that. In my unit, I do prefer Lekka most of the time. The atmosphere in my unit is much wetter, and I often find that plants don't do very well in pond, and they get a lot more edema and things like that. So again, it depends on the plant. Some plants just love pond, some plants just hate pond, no matter what environment you're in, but it kind of depends. But I like them both, and I do use them both interchangeably. My best advice is to just, if you've got more than one cutting of a plant, maybe stick one in each and just see what your plant prefers in your conditions. Back to the house, are you living by yourself? Yes. Do you plan on keeping up with your second channel? Oh my God, yes, yes, yes. Literally, I'm desperate to put some content on the second channel. It's gonna be a few different things, I think. Still makeup and stuff like that, but maybe a little bit more, dare I say, lifestyle, just stuff with the house or interior design or something, or there'll be a few different things, maybe even my fitness, I don't know yet. Don't know yet. But I'm absolutely bringing that back. It's just where I'm at at the minute. I, I can't film for that channel. So stay tuned. It will come. And I think the first video on that channel should be following a fitness journey that I'm going through, which should come out really early January. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get that out. But yes, absolutely. The second channel is going to run sweet as a nut. I mean, you might get some bonus videos in December. We'll see. It's, it's real busy at the minute for me. <laughs> Oh, have you got better at dealing with hate? Oh my gosh, I did not realize how much better I've got until some of the comments that tend to come through and certainly some of the comments that have come through recently. If you guys have been following me, you know, more closely on my channel, you'll know that I've had a, a, a bit of a rough ride recently. And the day that I got some really bad comments, other people around me were reading them and they were reacting really, really badly to them. And I was just kind of like, oh shit, wow. Okay. You know, and it, it made me realize how hardened I was. And I'm so happy for that. In a way, all these hateful people over the years have really helped me because now if someone wants to annoy me or upset me, they have to try so hard. I'm not sure they've even got it in them. So yeah, I've, I've really got hardened. I am unfortunately a bit more cynical, but I, I love you all and I know you're all great. Yeah, I've definitely, definitely come to deal with it pretty well now. Really, really well. A lot of the times if I'm reacting to something, say on Twitter, I'm laughing about it a lot of the time. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with my progress on that. I think that's been a really good positive change that I've made in the last, particularly the last year, I think actually, I've really tried to work on that and just trying to just chill, just absolutely disregard what people are saying and all the rest. So I don't know whether I've done well with that. I think I have though. I definitely think I have. So yeah, I'm pretty proud about that. Uh, meet and greet in the USA, would I do one? Um, Sort of, yes. I I would probably just go to the International Allied Show. Now, obviously, COVID has stopped us for a while. I know that the show was on this last year. I was so busy, it was literally landing on the weekend. I was going to get my house, pretty much. So I didn't go this year. I may try and go next year, guys, to the show. I know I've been to one before, so I would like to go again. I don't want to promise you I can come, but that is definitely my aim to find my way over to the wonderful US of A and come see you all. So I will obviously let you know if and when that happens, do not worry. But that's what I'm thinking anyway, at the moment. <laughs> this just says devil's lettuce. I assume you mean, do I actually partake in the devil's lettuce? And the answer is no, I don't. It is illegal in the UK. I will sit here pretty honestly on camera though and tell you that I did do it when I was younger. I think I was about 15, 16. I wouldn't do it again, it's not for me. Um, yeah, no, but each to their own. Advice on rehabbing a plant after shipping. I don't really need to answer that because I have a whole video for you that I will link down below, but it literally takes you through everything when you get a plant and what you should do, whether it's in soil, whether it's bare root, whether it's in moss, whether it's whatever. And I think there are a couple of examples in there. So I will link that down below for you because it says it's so much better than what I could at the moment. Oh, plants that you hate. Oh, I've said this before. I'm really sorry, guys. It's succulents. I just, I cannot, 
I cannot, they are not for me. Now cacti, I have a little bit of appreciation for. I think they're pretty cool. But succulents, no. Just, no, no. Eek. <laughs> when is your birthday? My birthday is the 10th of the 10th, 89. So that would make me just turn 33 this year on October 10th. The last question today is, what do you want for Christmas? Now, there's two things I would really like. One, obviously, is a non-gift, although it is a gift. One thing would be just to spend time with my nearest and dearest and just have a great, nice, relaxing Christmas. I have not had one in a little while. I had a lot going on last year around Christmas time with the whole horse thing. So I just really like a lovely, lovely, laughter-filled Christmas with my family. That's what I'd really like. I don't think you were asking that entirely, though. So the one gift I would love for Christmas that is absolutely not gonna happen, but I would really, really love to get myself a robot vacuum cleaner. I don't know, I, I have hardwood floor on the, the ground floor of my house and I just think it'd be great because I'm already noticing how dusty it can get very quickly. So I would absolutely love a robot vacuum cleaner because they look awesome. And some of them can recharge themselves when they're low and it's just so cute. So I will definitely get one at some point. I'll probably have to save my money, but I would really, really like one of those. And I might have to call it Jeeps if I get one. And there you have it. There is my Q&A video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little extra one, just a little bit of something completely different, but I do get a lot of questions here and there all the time. I do very occasionally do things like this on Instagram where people just ask me questions and I will just reply and share the answer. But I thought I'd do it in a full video because literally I have not done this since about 2019. So here's a little update on that for you. That's it for today, guys. I will love you and leave you. If you'd like to see any of my other content, please feel free to subscribe if you have not done so already. And and feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!